First, I'm going to show you why this is a useful utility. I have a track set up here in Logic, and it was created using an external MIDI as the new track. To create this track, Logic puts a multi-instrument in the environment. Now, the multi-instrument has 16 banks available. So to keep things clear for later on in the project, I've renamed my multi-instrument to Kronos, and I put the Kronos icon on it. If I open up the first bank of the instrument, it shows me the programs that are available. Now what's listed here are the default general MIDI names. Those banks are directly related to our MIDI track. We can see that right now track one is set to a honky-tonk piano, which is the general MIDI program number three. And I can change the program number and I get a new name up here in the track. Of course, the problem is I want to use other sounds in general MIDI from my Kronos. Now, looking at my project, I'd have no idea what sounds I'm using. So what do we do? Well, if we open the environment back up, now we could type all of the names of the programs from all of our banks, from all of our PCG files, everything we have on our Kronos into this window. But if we look at the options menu, we have options like copy all names and paste all names. Question is, what are you going to paste? And that's exactly the question this utility will answer. I can load any PCG file that I'm going to use for my project. And after it analyzes it, we hear a beep. Now here we have all the program names in my internal A bank. This will only show banks that contain actual programs for my Kronos. And I can select them and see what programs are included. Now every time I select a bank and hear the beep, all the programs from that bank are loaded into my clipboard. So if we go back to the environment, now we can use the paste all names option. And there we go. That bank of program names are now in the instrument. If we look back at our track, the instrument names are now those used by the Kronos. This is really great as the project gets complex because you can visually see what instrument's being used and Logic can make sure the Kronos is set to those instruments when you open the project. Now this track is set to transmit on channel 1. If I select New with Next MIDI Channel from the track menu, I have the same multi-instrument assigned, but can set a different instrument for channel 2. I'll add another track just to show how to increase the sounds available. So far we've only been using Bank 0 of the multi-instrument, which you can see here. If I go back to the environment and open up my banks and initialize bank 1, we look at the programs now, you can see it as generic program numbers. I'll change things up by selecting a different bank of sounds from the Kronos, paste in the names, and now the names under bank 1 and on the track are from my Kronos bank. Having that kind of information and not having to put it all in manually really can save hours and hours of time. There's a bunch more setup that you can do to really make this powerful and have the communication between Logic and the Kronos do exactly what you need it to. Thanks for watching.